This is 21. Here, left. And it's not Golden Necker, so we win the game. <laughs> All right. Look at those dead eyes. Seven apiece. That was a nice finisher. So we're going to try out specifically one of the new cards, Angus Bree Cree. Bree Tree? Bree Cree? Something like that. So, he's one of the new cards. Seven for twelve. For the rest of the matchup, you spawn a Deadeye, boost it by one. Basically, what we're going to do here is uh, try and replay this guy with Heist. As many times as possible. And then make a bunch of Deadeyes with the other, uh, the other cards in our deck. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're not playing traps, actually. No traps in the deck. I thought about doing traps, but we had so few provisions that we couldn't make the combo consistent enough. So, we're just going to just try and open with him. Just try and draw him in our starting hand here. Uh, so, that's the idea. We're going to use Angus Bree Try and draw him. We have Cursed Scroll. I forgot to save. We're supposed to be playing Cursed Scroll. I hit Saber by accident before we started this. But yeah, we have Cursed Scroll to draw him. We have Oniromancy and the Heist. And since we're playing both of those, I wonder if there's like two Echo cards. I like playing Lady of the Lake, so she's in the deck. That gives us our consistency. And then we have Simloss as our finisher. We have Alyssa as well. And Ideally, we sim lost Alyssa when we play. When we do it, the elves have plus two or three points on the dead. The dead have plus two or three points from Angus Brickery. That's the idea. Uh, he's kind of taking the spot of the scenario where you might normally play the scenario in this deck. So that could be an issue. Round one tempo, but I think we'll just try it. This is. I'm not sure how good this is. It's just gonna be kind of fun to see how big we can make our dead eyes. I'm not sure how good it'll be, but we're gonna try it out. We have the Heist, I mentioned we have Vernaciel, Vanadane, the normal stuff that goes pretty well with Heist. Isengrim, Alyssa, Lady of the Lake. We cut the, uh, what's his name? Yavin, right? It's Yavin. Yeah, we cut Yavin. Um, we didn't have that many provisions. Instead, we're playing Lady of the Lake for more consistency. You could play Yavin instead, but I think we want this to be as consistent of a combo as possible. We have Ciarin for a lock. Playing double backup plan. You can cut backup plan, bump CR into Yaven if you want. You can cut backup plans entirely, put whatever elves you want in, in, in instead. We're going with this. They're playing half elf hunter. This is pretty unusual for this deck, but we're gonna spawn. This spawns a dead eye, and ideally the dead eye is gonna be worth like six points. So that's why we're playing him here. Just all the dead eyes. Like uh, we have the archer too. Hopefully we can get its death blow off, and spawn dead eyes with this. We have the two waylays. The sappers, the two sword masters. We're playing a Peller for a third purify. We have the two sappers, but I figured a third purify would never hurt if we're going to be using our heist so much. And we have the two tricksters. So, as far as the new elves, we're only playing Angus right now. We'll come in with a trap deck at some point, but I thought this might be fun to try out earlier in the patch and just see what's going on with it. See if we can't make some pretty big dead eyes, but pretty straightforward deck. And uh, let's just go see if it does anything. Let's see what we've got. Northern Realms. This is the first Northern Realms player I've played of the whole patch, so let's see what they're doing. Kind of curious. And no Vanadane. I guess technically we have one more redraw. <laughs> Just your waylay again. And Waylay really likes to be in our hand. I don't know, man. No Lady of the Lake, no Oniromancy, no Angus, no Vanadane. I mean, you know, it really, you know, we really can't set anything up nowadays, can we? It's not pretty unfortunate. He did not Crystal Skull that. So I guess we just lock it. Would have liked to do trickster, but you can't like if you trickster then lock it. It doesn't do anything. Just because you lock the infused. Probably go with heist next. Let's try and do some heist stuff for this round.
I mean, it's a pretty good waylay target. Since we have to play this one. Is that the one getting Crystal Skull? Yeah, it is, but we can still move it. Moving it's still good. It's melee Earth because it's range locked. Heist, maybe not coming into play here. This is a good turn to play it. It threatens him with a lot of value on board already. We've got Trickster, we've got the CR in. We can lock and replay one of them again. We'll see what he wants to zeal. It's a bombardment turn, okay. That was questionable seeing as this replay, so we get the points back. Whoops, a daisy. <laughs> How utterly net questionable uh let's see that gives us three so we could kill that for this we'll die anyway though we we'll just do this we need to get a couple more guys out so we can uh, probably isengrim this round all right, there he's gonna do a pass. That is perfectly fine with us. So replaying you gives us a couple of points. An ill wind and then we just replay this one. That does three damage. And we just drop down whatever we want. Probably tricks there. Let's see if we can do some setup in this round. We don't want a long round, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be some siege stuff going on. Do need Vanadane. There's no Nyromancy. Lady of the Lake now is a dead draw. But if we draw our first, we can slip back something else. Actually, this is a pretty nice hand, all things considered. We're just missing Angus. And Alyssa, I suppose. We'll keep this hand. We will keep it. Let's go heist. Vanaday next we'll put back Sappers and I guess Isengrim. I don't really like putting the Isengrim back, but we drew a bunch of golds. Which is good because we didn't have them earlier. Ah, the Onager. Use an order damage a random enemy by one. Can't remember ever seeing this card before, and I also can't remember what the new Northern Realms cards are, so. Uh, it might be new and it might not be new. I remember this from Thronebreaker, though. Anyway. Uh, go here. We're probably getting dueled or something. So I don't think we're going to keep this Vanadade. And there goes the Heat Wave on the Vanadane. So surprising. I think we'll try for the um, Angus then. We should have two waylays now, right? Yep, one, two for Alyssa. Let's see if we can get the Angus off with the um, cargos. There's Foltis Pride.
I'm sure this guy's gonna die to a duel. Yeah, there it is. We got nothing out of this cargo, unfortunately. And now we have to deal with Siege. I'm sure there's like an Onsais in here or something. But at least we can try and set up our waylays. Make sure we have something for our Lady of the Lake to play. We don't really want to be playing units, I don't think, because he's just going to be playing siege engines or something. Good old Lyrian Cavalry. Hopefully we can kill that. A lot of these have damage on deploy. Ooh, they don't. Nothing here has damage. So we'll go with this. That's unfortunate. Really figured we could kill that. Ah, Trollolo. I see what's going on here. So we need to kill Trollolo. So we have to set up the um, sim loss right now. We have to kill Trollolo next turn. There's the siege. Probably shouldn't have played her range. That was dumb of us. Uh, let's see. We have to kill Trollolo. Yeah, there's, we just have to do it. Not ignorant. Remember to whom you speak. Time for you to die. Nothing else for it. Still, we've got good good sim loss set up. We have good Renasiel set up. I mean, we have a lot of available damage. We have three leader charges still. We have to see what his orders are. Be helpful if I remembered what the new Northern Realms cards are, but I didn't even I didn't have time to look at them yesterday. You know, we just started making decks. I think I crafted them and read them. I don't remember what they do. Okay. Uh, looking like a pretty good Vernaciel here. Got one, two, three, four. Alright, so we need hit this four times, this twice, and this once. Four plus two plus one is seven. So we need seven dead eyes, so we just play all the dead eyes. And then we just clear his board. Needs a lot of points here. Like a lot, lot. Oh, what, what do you do, my friend? Deploy boost three bronzes in your deck. First time you're an ally, you just order someone. Okay. He has a lot of potential points then left. Let's see what he's got. We don't have very much. We just have whatever's in our hand. Pencil. Really wish we had Isengrim over uh, this Peller. It's nice to boost for... What? Uses its order. So it's a six. I guess he didn't have a six in his deck. The realm okay. Your chain. Abandon now your Can he get 37 with his remaining cards? That is the question. Natalius. Winch. This. Um, I guess he has no 13s in his deck either. So, okay. Guess he didn't much get much value out of that guy, but <laughs> we didn't. Carapace. Oh, this is probably ogres. They're ogroids. 
This will be interesting. We're finally going first. We even have Curse Scroll for consistency. So hopefully we can get this combo off against Ogres. They, I mean, they probably have Cyclops and Renfrey or Heatwave, one of the two. But they shouldn't have too much control. We want our Vanadane and we want the other guy who are not in our hand. Oh, there's Vanadane. We have a lot of golds. Or at least we have the Vanadane. Open with the heist. Go Cyclops Warrior. Or Enraged Cyclops. Cyclops Warrior is the deploy one. Nothing we can do with him. Just leave him be. See if we can do some Vanadane shenanigans. Nope. He won't let us. Well, if we can't Vanadane, let's uh, try for the other one. Let's put a Waylay on the bottom of our deck. And we'll draw Angus. Let's see if this one will work. He'd have the Cyclops, I think, to remove this, or be playing not Renfrey and do Heatwave. Having Lord Riptide was really good for him there. Okay, it looks like we might get a combo. We get to do some combo in here. Nice. So we do this. And we play Sappers. And then hopefully we can do it again next turn. We're fine with a long round three, I think, against Ogres, just because we can deny them might by hitting their guys. What's this timer at? Only That's a five. That's a long timer. We can deal with that. Let's do this again. And then... Could play CR in. Block this. I think we will. We don't have a good way to kill it. Next turn we'll play this guy again. Caretaker. Caretaker is an interesting choice. It is a relic, not an ogroid. We're down a whole bunch of points here, but I think the carryover is worth it. Uh, is this Golden Necker? Could be Golden Necker. Let him win uneven. We have plus three to all of our dead eyes, which is a lot. See if he even plays a card. I'm guessing he will if he's playing Golden Necker. His Incubus is going to be really good on Rage Cyclops. That's a 9, right? Still could be Golden Necker. But we discard Pugo. Interesting. Interesting. I think we'll just play backup plan. 
And then I think this is the best one, right? Only unit on its row. Death awaits us all. Opponent lost connection. I want to see the dead eyes. Uh, our dead eyes all have plus three. So our leader's worth 18 now, which is quite good. Nice, he's back. I don't even know if we're going to win this. I just wanted to see the dead eye value, see if it's actually worth anything. Goliath. I mean, we have the option of killing Goliath if we want to. Is there anything good we could do? We could go for our heist. Let's do that. I think it's going to be better this round than next round. He might just pass as soon as we play it, but next round we won't really have... If it's a short round, we won't really have time to do heist with anything. And I think that's what it'll be. I think it'll be a short round. I think he might pass here. Oh, no, we're not going to. Going for might on something. Maybe it's Ice Troll. I'm oh, just going to go for a Ogre Warrior. What's our highest power card? Isengrim. So if we kill Goliath, we get Isengrim. Do we have to Simloss is the question. We could replay the Isengrim with Cargo. Down by 28. I think we have to sim loss. Much as I don't really like it. Oh, it's pl not plus three, it's plus four, because we played it and then we replayed it three times. So it's there. this is actually worth 21 on our leader. Felt pretty bad to have to do that, but I think we have to sim loss there. And I'm pretty sure this is Golden Necker at this point. So anything that gives us dead eyes is now worth a lot. Do we need Alyssa? She doesn't really do anything for us. Well, let's see what we can do here. Pretty sure it's Golden Necker. So we have to watch out for that tempo play. But at least he doesn't have the Siri carryover. There's the Jotun. Start pinging it. Then we'll use Trickster to move his next card out of the ranged row to mess up the might. So I'm pretty sure... Well, no, it won't work because he's going to go Incubus on the Ogre. So then it'll... Oh, we can move that. It's not bad. <clears throat> can we kill it? We're getting pretty close to killing it, right? Two damage. It gets it down to four. Should be able to kill it next turn. Which would be very good for us. Goes to five, ping, ping, three. Alright, he's gonna do that. Now we can't kill it. It's the best card to oh, Oniromancy. Probably Archer, actually. Archer or Trickster? Archer if we can get the death blow. Oh, there's the unicorns. Okay. So yeah, 100% golden necker. There's our 7 power Deadeye there. I'd love to see it. This is a max power Deadeye, by the way. I think we can do means we still have 21 points on leader. These dead eyes are going to be something else. There's the Azrael consume. Plus 12.
This is our best card. Because our dead eye. Still has Golden Necker. There's the Necromancy. That's going to be for like a 10 power guy, right? It's a 12. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Hit this. Still have Golden Necker. So he's going to last play Golden Necker. I think he's got this. He's just got so many points. This is 21. And we do 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14 damage, or we spawn 14 points. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We got 6. We could do... Uh, 6 times 2 is 12. We spawn 14 with the 2 dice. So spawning the guys is actually better. Why is he disconnecting? He has Golden Necker left. And it's not Golden Necker, so we win the game. <laughs> Alright. Look at those dead eyes. 7 apiece. That was a nice finisher. Triple dead eye plus Renasio. Our first opponent will be playing Enslave Tactics. Well, that's going to put a damper on our strategy of um, he's just going to seize our guy. Is it Enslave 6? It is Enslave 6. It is Enslave 6. So we drew both Waylays. You'll love to see it. Not. And we don't have a single one of our Echo Cards or Lady of the Lake. So we can't do the setup we want. This is going to be a really rough game. Really rough game. I don't even have Vanadane. Hmm. See, what can we do without any of our key cards here? I guess we just try and... I guess we still play Angus here since we did draw him. We can't replay him with our heist, though. How many ways we have to spawn Dead Eyes in our opening hand? One, two... Just start with Trickster. Just play things where they're removed. It's not too big a deal. Like, Swordmaster's nice, but it's just going to turn each ousted or something. Wondering where we slip in the Swordmaster. Or if we go with Trickster next. I, I like Trickster because he's playing damage cards and they're better if he can hit if he hits this with him. Just a single hand boost, it's not too bad. We'll go here. I suspect it dies now, Swordmaster, but. Only a three, I'd prefer to put these tricks around something a little bit bigger. I was getting a lot of thinning done here. Quite a bit of thinning. And there's our attorney joust. Well, we could go Angus, we could go backup plan. Let's go backup plan. Let's go with the melee effect here. That's a decent number. To make his own trickster. Well, now we're going to play our other trickster and we're just going to keep trickstering everything. <laughs> uh, tricksters everywhere. Then we'll decide if we want to Angus before we play Half-Elf Hunters. 
Ooh, that's not the best thing to do that with. So he probably has double boo hurt then. If he boo hurts this, we can lock it, because then he would boo hurt it again. Let's just play Angus. We'll just take the carry over. If there's no heist, we can use heist on other cards just fine. Alright, now we lock the Siri. We CR in it, because CR and can do your own guys, which is nice. In this situation, at least. The problem is, if he's playing this... He can't be playing Sangreal. Like, normally, if they play Sangreal, it purifies the lock, so it doesn't matter. But he can't have Sangreal, so it's fine. He can't Sangreal, because he has 12 tactics. So we stop him from boot hurting this again. Yep, there it is. No Siri for you. So we'll go with a half elf hunter. Get the extra point from the Angus. Really, we want to get the Angus off more than once for the hunters to be good, but we do get a win on even against someone who hasn't Torezed yet, so that's that's something at least. We want to find Vanadane and Simloss. And no, we do not want Waylay. Get out of here. Right, there's Simloss. Uh, I mean, we have so many consistency cards. We're just not getting them right now. Do we want Peller? Probably not. Man, no Lady of the Lake, no Nyromancy, no Heist still. No Vanadane? Wow. I mean, we have a lot of consistency cards in this deck. It's very surprising. Do you want to go short round or long round? Probably short round of sim loss. We don't have the sim loss set up. If we go long round, how much simly are we scared of? I mean, he hasn't Torres yet, so we might not have his good cards. Yeah, let's just do it. It's not you. Play here a little bit. I think the long round is a bit better for him just because of how much assimilate value you can get. Alright, what are we going with this card? I think this card's amazing, by the way. Battle Stations. Amnesty. Oh, it's not even units. I thought it was units. Any two bronze cards. Okay. Well, I thought it was units. I am wrong. Good to know. Good to know. Let's see. No, nothing good for you yet. Let's play this. We'll just like play a couple cards. We just don't want the round three to be super long. We want an even, so we pretty much just play as much as we want. Oh, there's the Torres. What do we get? He picked Vanadane. Swordmaster and Archer. Okay. He has not Yon Cal waited either. I think we pass here. He still Stefan all that stuff, but now we have Lasse. Still. Alright, there's a card we're looking for. There's a heist. There's a Vandane. Now we're getting into some cards we actually want. Oniromancy. Oh, we don't have Oniromancy. We Lady Lake, though. We can get the Lady Lake this for Nasiel. That'll be good. We'll keep this hand. Let's see what we can do here. What is truth if not an illusion? I guess if you have this many copies of Magni Division, you don't need Yon Calwait. Yes. Let's see. Uh, we don't have good cards, but back for Vanadane, which is a little unfortunate. Let's throw out the heist before we Vanadane. Just in case he has like only damage cards and is forced to discard one. I find 
question is, do we put back Alyssa or we put back Isengrim? They're both pretty good. Well, let's we use this first. I think we put back Isengrim. We will probably have to play these waylays, then we need the Alyssa. There's no way we're getting to replay the Isengrim, though. Or the Vanity. There's no way. He's going to hit it and seize it. So, that's unfortunate. I'm not even sure if these cargos would go off. I mean, there's, he has to have a damage card, and he can always just um, Vilgaforts. Usually there's a Vilgaforts, and hopefully it doesn't hit our Vernacia. And here comes the seas. Now his waylays are worth way more than ours because he has two Vanadanes. Man, if we just drew Vanadane earlier, we wouldn't have this problem with him having multiple Vanadanes. But what are you going to do? Do we even hit the Vanadanes? Let's hit this. These cargos, I guess cargo's a dead card. Maybe it was probably too optimistic to hope we could use them on something. Because we can't use it on Vernacio. She's last say. There's another Vanadane. Oh no, we're just with it. Oh yeah, this this game this game's a disaster. Whatever. It happens. Uh I guess we Alyssa. Know that I was trained by Clara Larissa de Winter herself. I think our only chance to win is to Vernaciel next turn and hope we can cargo her. I think that's it, but I think his last card is also uh, Vilgefortz. He's at 67. Well, what are you going to do? Let's see if Vernacia lives. Even if we get to do this, I don't think it'll win. But hopefully she lives. We can try it. Nope. And Cargo just turned out to be a completely dead card. It happens. Let's fire these off. If we had it, I guess we should have put Cargo back. I guess we're too optimistic with it. It happens. Now we know. Don't make me laugh. Carapace. We'll see if this is Ogres. Okay, we've got Vanadane Heist. That's interesting. I want to do full combo. By full combo, I mean we'd Vanadane three times, or Vanadane four times, and then Angus Breakery four times. So that would be hilarious. But there's no way he's going to let us. We're going to try, though, because it would be very funny. Let's try for it. We have to do it in different rounds. This round will go for the Vanadane, I think. Whichever one we go for first probably just gets Lord Riptided, though, and then we can try for the other one. Okay, so he's got at least seven Ogroids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he has two unknown cards. Well, nothing else for it. Let's try for the Vanadine. Let's put back... You and you, uh, you and you. And let's see if this lives. 
I bet it does not live. Either Cyclops or Riptide or Heat Wave or something. Yep, there's Cyclops. We'll go for this guy instead. And there's the Heat Wave. Well, you know, sometimes the deck that you think lets you have fun won't. Oh, Groids. Being a pain here. Um, still have to win this round one, so we'll go with the Half Elf Hunter. Actually, is there something we could draw that'd be really good here? Yeah, there's obviously some cards we could draw that'd be good here. For some reason, I'm always partial to playing Trickster. I don't know what's up with that. I just kind of like it. Yeah. So we have we have one extra point on our dead eyes, but he used heat wave on it. We don't have anything else tall though, so it's probably fine for him to heat wave. We know it's not Ren Free. We know one of his cards is gone this heat wave. We know he has everything except one's an Ogroid that's left. And he has bad might set up, so it's fine. King Trum will be a problem, so we need a purify for that, okay. He's not going to let us. I mean, seeing as you didn't let me purify my own guys for cargo, we have like it's like there's like three purifies in our deck, and then we'll get an extra four points off of this guy. We have to save this so we can purify King Trum. I guess we can Oniromancy to deal with him instead. And then start playing Waylays. Yeah, let's start playing Waylays. They are worth seven after all. He wants to last play the King Trum. Problem with that is he'll win on even. And we'll go he'll win up two cards if we purify it. We can't let him have it though, so we have to go full tempo, I think. We probably need to Vernaciel this round. Actually, we don't have to play um, Peller as long as we keep our Sappers alive. All right, there it is. We just purify that and go down a card. He wins up a card, though. I don't think we have a choice. I'm so tired. Purify it. Draw a card of our choice. I think we need to draw... We need to draw Vernaciel here. And let's put back the waylay. We have to play a card. So let's play Alyssa. Put back the waylay. Now he's going to win here. The round. He's going to pass probably. But at least he doesn't have the carryover from King Trump. Being honest here, this is a terrible spot we're in, but we'll see what we can do. Never want to be down two cards, which is what will happen if he just passes. Yep, he's going to go for that play. Makes a lot of sense. We have to be um, mindful to not draw our waylays. Wow, there's a waylay. Hopefully we don't get another one. We're right, sort of missing some important cards here. I guess we have Isengrim. Let's see what we can do. See what we can do. Get the watch out for our rose getting filled up. Especially if he's playing Incubus. Uh, that is a great card for us to see right there. I'd love to see it. This interaction is precisely why I, I don't play Necker in my Ogroid deck. It's just so bad when it happens. What's your timer at one? Yep, it's at one. 
Let's go here. And then do you. This is Elven land upon which your kind dies. Don't let him have might. We'll spear tip asleep, we'll lock him. Not much else we would do here. Let's lock him. We have quite a nice cargo setup. I want to use cargo on Vernasiel and Isengrim, then one more thing. So if you purify this old spear tip, we would use it then. Oh, you owe Messi for our uh, sim loss. We want to hold these if we can, so we know we have a melee space for Vernasiel. We want at least one remaining. There's the Jotun. He's a big boy, that's for sure. Is there a reason to not sim loss right this second? We lose access. Oh, he's setting up might. Okay, so we should sim loss here then. We could be funny and purify this. It wouldn't be very helpful, but we could. So yeah, I think we should go for our sim loss here. You are no Get our waylays. Hit this guy a bunch. Deny the might again. We do have movement on Ciaran. We have Vernasiel for a whole bunch coming up. Alright, so it's time to go in with Vernasiel here. One, two, and three. The nice thing is the, um, do this. Can't be something we played this turn, so we'll hold off. The nice thing is we get space. Like, these go away and give us a spot for a unit. Oh, there goes Vernasiel. We're all surprised about that one. Let's go Isengrim then. He's still pretty good. He's up, he's up several cars, but we're up 60 points. So, and he admits it. So, this is like a pretty good lesson. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you're down two cards, if you just have insane tempo plays like we did. The North shall tuck tail and beg for mercy. Imposter. I'm curious to see if these are going to be playing the new ships. Let's see, we've Vanadin. Nice. So we just played a Reaver deck, which I'm going to cut out of the video, because what happened is we didn't draw Vanadin, August, Oniromancy, or Lady of the Lake at all. Like, literally the entire game, we didn't draw a single one of them, so we couldn't do anything. It was, like, the saddest thing I've ever seen. And we went second, too, so we didn't get our Cursed Scroll. That's stupid. So I, I'm cutting that game out, because... I'm sure you know what happened. We had no setup and they were Reavers. So, we did have a loss in between this last game and this one, but what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, double, double Heavy Cavalry with the Crystal Skull. Someone wants to win round one, I see. I actually don't know which one of these he played first. I think it was this one. I think it was that one. Yeah was. Nice. Let's do that before it gets too much armor. It does mean we don't get the pings, but whatever. Now we have cargo. I think now we go cargo. I think this hits our next card. I 
call it? I just say cargo. The heist to give us the cargoes. Then we just throw something into this. And then start carryovering. Maybe. We'll see. It's gonna do six to us. There's yes. the pike. There is the pike. Then we go with you. And we kill this. It's not that much value. Then we try and go for Vanadane, hopefully. Uh, That's two a turn, right? This is our land, Dwarf. You're not welcome here. Let's hope he can't kill that. We don't really have purifies right now, which is a little sad. Hey, there's a lock, but that doesn't do anything because it replays it, my buddy. As you come on, David. Put these waylays back in. And then I think we'll throw down this guy too. That's what they call me. It's more setup. He's gonna win uneven. The question is, does he play another card? I don't think it, it might be worth it if he plays another card to go for a cargo on Angus. But then we're going down two. Is that worth it? I think it's worth it. It's worth a ton of points throughout the course of the game. And then we'll just throw in a waylay. Vanadame, we get the extra guy. Let's see. We're not going to win. We could lead her. If we lead her twice, we get 10. Could triple lead her and win. I think round control is that important here. I think round control is important enough for that. Just because we can force out ball. And he has to respect that we have a potential six waylay sim loss. With plus one, or with plus two on them. So short round three is definitely what we want here. Definitely want that short round three. Do, I think we do want this waylay so we can play it before we Alyssa. Yeah, well, we'll keep this. We want to throw this out early. Even if Heist is dead, we might throw it out this round. We'll go for a potential 2 0 with Sim loss and Oniromancy out of Renasio since we have pretty much every card of our big combo. It gives us bleeding. It's interesting. Might as well get rid of it. Go Alyssa next, then we'll think about what we want to do. Definitely want to bleed the ball. You could just play everything except. Yeah, I definitely want to bleed out the ball if we can. Let's do this. Put these back in. We have a six waylay sim loss now. We have cargo. We don't have to bleed the ball. This poison's not that good against us. Six waylays gives us damage to kill this and this, and then something else. We might go for a 2-0. Might. I'm very tempted. Let's throw the cargo and see how conservatively this guy plays. Let's throw the, or the heist. Let's see what he does here. Like I'm feeling the sim loss. Act your age. 
It's gonna be a massive sim loss. Alright, we got our extra vanity. Bang, bang. Kill this. Probably is worth killing this guy just because of the value over time. Could have pinged it with this first, which is what you should. Well, we couldn't have because we needed the sim loss to cool it down. Could have hit it and then pinged it, I mean. And then we'll see what he's got. Plus two on each Deadeye and some more guys. It's pretty good. Uh, looks like it's time to go with our Vernaciel here. He has to respect that we still have cargo, but this will be massive. And just fire this. And he's out of here. GG. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. So that's the deck. What do I think? I think it's pretty fun to set the combo up. I, we did not get to do full combo, which I really wanted to do. Full combo is like you replay Vanadine three times round one with Heist, and then you replay Angus three times round two with Heist. And then you're looking at seven points per waylay, and then you've got, um, what is that? Additional, you've got ten waylays, and each one spawns a seven. Each one's worth ten. That's a 70 point, 72 point sim loss. Didn't get that. But we did get some pretty good results, and the deck performed better than I expected. I thought this might be a meme deck, where it wouldn't actually be able to win any games. But it did okay, actually. Did alright. I don't think I'll change any of the cards. The backup plan's the one I'm most kind of iffy on, the backup plan. But we can't get to Yaven just by substituting it out for four provisions. Which is what I would like to do, is get to a Yaven. I suppose you can cut half health Hunter, but then you're uh, losing out on the point of the anger, Angus. But I think we have pretty much every card in the game that spawns that I, except for the uh, Trap, Deception, and Elias. Would be nice if we could fit the scenario. You cut Lady of the Lake, you get two. You cut Backup Plans to four, you get four. Four plus two. Yeah, get, if these go to fours, we get six extra provisions. With six provisions, we could go deception. And maybe that's the way to go. Let me cut Lady of the Lake. It's just this is a deck really where you want consistency though. So Lady of the Lake's pretty helpful. Because we have the two echo cards, Oniromancy and Heist. I don't know, you guys let me know. This one was interesting. We're going to try out a trap deck pretty soon, but we got all the other factions to try. I just wanted to see if this, we could do something with Angus and make a whole bunch of Voiles that are play for a ton. But uh, I think we won like two games down two cards, so. Or at least down a card and down less. Like down, double less, say, and down a card or something. So you can do some pretty crazy stuff with Sim Loss and Voiles. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It was pretty fun to make, and we'll see you in the next one. That'll be it for this one guys, hope you enjoyed, we'll see you next time, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more, and you can check out some more videos over here, and thanks for watching.